Hey everyone, a common concern with home hydroponics is the setup cost. Doesn't it cost thousands of dollars to set up a system and then hundreds more to keep it running after that, all for a few green plants to eat? In this video, I'll break down the cost of building a four rail hydroponic system such as this one here. I've built lots of these myself and helped guide others to do the same and they're extremely effective in growing produce right in your home. We've created a video course showing each step to build this system along with all the materials you'll need. Therefore, to calculate cost, I simply went to the course materials list on our website and added together the cost for each item. I'll put a link in the description if you want to do the same thing. Note that all the costs I use are in US dollars and are based on prices in the Midwestern United States, so they may differ somewhat depending on where you live. Also, as I'm sure you're aware, current prices for goods are volatile, so I can't guarantee the prices you see will match what I show here. In a separate video, I went over the ongoing cost of growing hydroponic lettuce, so costs such as electricity, nutrients, and seeds, if you want to check that out. Okay, let's get started. First, we'll look at the cost of the rails. Two 100-inch fence posts can make four rails. Each one is $26.90 for a total of $53.80. The end caps are 217 each and we need 8 of them for a total of 1736. The total cost of the rails themselves then is 7116. Next, we'll look at fittings for allowing flow through the rails. Note that the cost of these items is much higher if you order them one at a time due, due to shipping. For the inlet, we need a half inch bulkhead fitting at 379 and a half inch elbow at 149. For the three different connections between rails, we need a stick of PVC pipe at 397, three unions at 229 each, and nine couplings at 56 cents each. Previously, I used bulkhead fittings for these connections, but using couplings instead saves on cost. For the flow exit, we need a conduit adapter for 123 and a 1 inch elbow for 272. To attach everything together, we use PVC glue for 1035 and aquarium silicone for 1124 and you'll have plenty left over for both. The subtotal for the rail fittings is 4670. We also need a reservoir and pumps to keep the water aerated and moving through the system. The reservoir itself is a 27 gallon tote for 1398. The water pump is 1899 and it uses half inch tubing to attach to the rails, which costs 999 for a 20 foot coil. The return tubing from the exit of the rails is 1 inch diameter and costs $16.49 for a 20 foot coil. For aeration, we use an air pump for $23.99, attached to air tubing for $1.99, and 4 bubble bars which come in 2 packs for $11.99. You may find them cheaper at a pet store too. The subtotal for the reservoir and pumps then is $109.41. Lighting can be the biggest cost of starting with indoor growing. But recently I found that LED grow light tubes work really well and are much cheaper than other options. Six tubes for $99.99 will give more than enough light for the four rail system. Also these regularly go on sale for as low as $79.99 so keep an eye on that. For lettuce you'd be fine to go with four tubes which would reduce the cost even further. Finally we'll look at the items we need for planting. This does not include things like nutrients, seeds, and grow plugs as those are considered an ongoing cost covered separately. These are items that you buy up front and won't need again for a while. A 50 pack of net cups will cover what we need for a 4 rail system and they're $14.99. A TDS meter at $14.99 and a pH test kit at $8.99 are helpful to make sure your nutrient solution is in a good place. Finally, hole plugs are handy to block light and plant sites that are unused. And those are $6.99 for $25, which brings our subtotal to $45.96. Adding everything together, the total cost to build and set up a home hydroponic system is $373.22. Keep in mind that a two-rail system would be cheaper overall, but more than half this amount since you'll still need to buy things such as pumps and planting materials. Whereas if you built multiple four-rail systems at once, the cost per system would go down since you could put extra material to use. I've been running these systems for several years and I found them to be super reliable with very little cost of repair or maintenance. The only parts I've had to replace are the pumps and even those will run several years before wearing out. Lastly, one thing I did not include was the support structure, mainly because that can vary widely depending on your situation. 
you could purchase a nice wire rack to stack multiple systems for around two hundred dollars or you could use an old wooden table or shelving and the cost would be near zero so take that into account as you're planning as well again i'll include links to the materials list and the course if you want to check it out and thanks for watching